Hello. Welcome to In the Studio. I'm your host, Martha Teeter. And today we're going to be talking about the single-use plastic bag ban, something of the history of the ban, why the ban, uh, and are there effects of the ban. And my guest today is Guinevere Genevieve Avedon from Californians Against Waste. Thank welcome you so much for so having much. me. Yeah, welcome to the studio. Great. So um, we first want to talk a little bit about why uh, the plastic bag ban is important, single-use plastic bag ban. Yeah. Well, plastic bags are detrimental to the environment, they're detrimental to wildlife, mm -hmm. they're expensive to clean up, and they're truly an easily um, preventable source of litter. Hmm. So what in particular in the environment is a problem for the plastic bags? Plastic pollution is a growing problem both mm -hmm. on land and in the water. Uh, when plastic ends up in the environment, it can collect toxins um, that adhere to it, and those can bioaccumulate up the food chain. Uh, the Ocean Conservancy actually recently just deemed plastic bags as the number two deadliest threat to much of marine life, including sea turtles. For example, their food, they eat jellyfish, and a plastic bag, when it ends up in the ocean, resembles a jellyfish, and so they can tend to eat it and then essentially starve to death with a wow. stomach full of plastic. And sea turtles live a long time, don't they? They do. Yeah, so that can be a really yeah. big effect. Wow. Yeah, so um, in terms of uh, cleanup and that sort of thing, um, is, why are plastic bags that much of a problem? Well, the producers of their plastic bags don't actually incur the costs of having to clean them up. Even oh, when we yeah. think we're properly disposing of a plastic bag, they can tend to blow out of landfills and trash cans and end up in our parks and our waterways, and it's actually taxpayers who have to pay for the cost of that mm. cleanup. Mm. Well, don't they have things like recycling plastic bags? They do. Um, it, it has been tried, and it's not very effective. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's not a great market for plastic bag recycling, and it's been actually uh, proven that only about 3% of bags truly get recycled. Wow. So those little things outside the grocery store, they uh, really don't work that much. Not, yeah. that, wow. not that much. People yeah. have to take the extra step to get them there, and I think that really deters a lot of people. Huh. Yeah. So simply banning them seems to be the alternative, the, the best alternative to having them around. We have actually a, a video that talks a little bit about this problem. It's a rap, a lively rap about uh, plastic versus paper. Plastic state of mind. Okay, would you like paper or plastic? Save 
the cities Bring in your own bags and folks and bottles should be easy But corporations selling toxins on the government Stand together for yourself because the planet's saying yeah, yeah That single-use bag is made of plastic Wow, so that, that was really lively, talking about the problems and what you can do. In fact, uh, I think you brought here in the studio some alternatives to plastic bags. Um, so there's the, the heavier one that's very durable, easy to wash. Mm -hmm. and actually, they all look easy to wash. Um, the one in the middle uh, is a very light one, I guess you could kind of crunch that up and easily put it in your purse. <laughs> and uh, the, the white one too, yeah. So there's quite a few alternatives. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Well, tell me about the plastic bag ban history. How has it come to California? How has yeah. it come to Davis? Yeah, um, well, the state? San Francisco was the first uh, city and county to hmm. ban plastic bags in 2007. Hmm. Since then, 151 cities and counties, about 44% of the state is now covered oh. under a plastic bag ban, including Davis. And um, Davis passed their ban in 2013. Mm -hmm. It covers all retail stores and includes a 10 cent charge for these paper mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. reusable bag alternatives. Mm -hmm. It has proven to be very effective. Uh, mm -hmm. The city has gone from about 23 million plastic bags wow. per year to just over 100 and uh, 100, sorry, 1.5 million. So that's about a 95% reduction. Wow, 95% mm -hmm. reduction, that's pretty amazing. That's so the idea is that a lot of cities took the ban into their own hands. Um, and then what about the state? So then there's a, on, only about half of the state is covered by the city mm -hmm. bans. And yeah. so uh, what happened with the state? Well, these bans have really created momentum for a plastic bag ban to get passed in the state in mm -hmm. 2014. Mm -hmm. and so we have a ban now. We technically do have a ban. Okay, okay. Um, unfortunately, just months after it passed through the legislature and was signed by the governor, uh -huh. uh, four out-of-state plastic bag manufacturers paid millions of dollars to get a referendum put uh -huh. on the November ballot uh -huh. This that's yeah. coming up. Yeah. And so now it will be up to voters to decide its fate. Uh-huh. And uh, when is that coming up? So that'll be November 8th in our okay. presidential ballot. Okay. It's going to be Proposition 67 at the mm -hmm. very end of the ballot. Okay. And a yes vote will uphold the ban and a no okay. vote will rescind the ban. Okay. So is this easy to understand on the ballot that a yes note will uphold the ban and a no vote? Well, hopefully, <laughs> it is a little hopefully. bit confusing, okay. and I think. But um, y just so our audience knows, yes, yes means keep the no band. bags, correct? <laughs> no pla no single-use plastic correct. bags. Okay, okay, great. That's helpful. Okay, yeah. So, in essence, um, these out-of-state manufacturers are trying to uh, influence California law. They are, yeah, the and uh, as much as this is about banning plastic bags and the detriments that they have mm -hmm. to our environment, it's very much so about telling you know out-of-state special interests that they can't just come into California and overturn mm -hmm. our hard-fought environmental laws this way. I see, mm -hmm. I see, okay. Yeah, so the, um, uh, in terms of the plastic bags, I know a lot of people use them used them multiple times. Um, uh, isn't that an alternative to a complete 100% um, ban on them? I guess in Davis even, it's like uh, not 
a right. Yeah. Some well, it's not really a viable say. alternative, as we all know. They're pretty flimsy. Mm. They don't tend to even make it beyond one use. I mean, maybe okay. used for about 12 minutes and yeah. then yeah. thrown away. And um, even if they wow. are reused, they tend to just be used once, and then they end up in a landfill. Maybe someone reuses it in their trash can or for their pet. And mm -hmm. so, you know, a, a single-time reuse isn't that much of a yeah. reuse. Yeah, and opinion. even even sometimes when I've tried to use them, I find that they they leak a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yep. <laughs> they're not perfect fit. Yeah. No. So, what about the uh, actual effects in cities which have banned the bag? How many? How much? difference has it made? Yeah, a great deal of difference. And actually, a few cities and counties have been tracking their mm -hmm. their bans. And uh, one in particular, San Jose, has found that there is a 59% reduction since their ban has been passed mm -hmm. in uh, streets and parks, a 69% reduction in storm drains, mm -hmm. and a 76% reduction in rivers and creeks. Oh. And various other uh, cities and counties have found that you know, over double the residents are either bringing their own reusable bags or leaving with no bag at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about Davis? What's been the situation in Davis? Uh, well, one thing in particular, as I mentioned before, there's been a huge reduction in numbers. Mm -hmm. And additionally, um, at the uh, waste and recycling facility, they've seen a 90% reduction in plastic bag litter blowing around. Mm -hmm. um, you know, getting out of the landfills and whatnot and uh, blowing into trees, and, and that's a cost that they have to incur. Mm. And I know that uh, in, in many cities and counties, these plastic bags can actually gum up the recycling equipment. So mm -hmm. if people put them in their curbside recycling, mm -hmm. thinking that they're doing a good thing, mm. Um, mm. that they can actually have to, you know, stop what they're doing and, and fix their machinery, and that can cost them a lot of time and money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I guess that must be Davis Waste Removal that's Correct. Uh, the, the one, yeah. And um, uh, where should they go, actually? They don't go in recycling. They're plastic, but they're not different kind of plastic. So uh, do they, I mean. Yeah, yeah. technically, um, they but, should go in those bins. Um, well, they think actually they're film plastic, which is trash. So they they actually shouldn't they they probably should just go right in the trash. Yeah. If you ever get one like you, with your um, uh, the outside packaging from a plastic a plastic bag, fruit plastic bag or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can actually, if you don't mind taking the extra step, you can actually take those to your local grocery store. That's true. And many of yes. them will tend to have the bins. Yeah, that's a um, special bin. It's a special bin. Yeah. 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 yeah so that's right. why we're hoping to but, uh, just, just completely, completely eliminate them. them. Yeah. And yeah. Look at look at alternatives. Well, this has been very helpful. I've learned a lot about the history and particularly the effect on the environment. Um, I really appreciate that. I'm sure that um, that uh, the the situation people will look for alternatives because um, yeah, I, I know already I've seen a lot of people using the reusable bags. Um, there's uh, really a viable alternative available. The only trick is like in the video, you have to remember uh, to have one. And that's why I always carry one in my, mm -hmm. my purse with me. me so <laughs> even if I forget, <laughs> me too. I can go in. Yeah. yeah. And it does become habit after a while. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that, yeah, that's the key to make it a habit mm -hmm. and to also um, make it accessible when you need it, when you're, yep. you're in the store or whatever. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. So uh, we're really thank you a lot for coming to tell us about all of this data on uh, particularly the environment uh, effect and on the um, history of the ban. And um, thank you for uh, sharing your time with us. My pleasure. And thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate uh, you're coming to listen about the plastic ban and something that's very relevant right now in California. Thank you so much.